Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Pokemon Stadium Round 2. I'm recording this right after uh, recording the last episode where we took on Prime Cup Pokeball Round 2, Battles 4 through 6. Here we're going to take on the semifinal and final rounds. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, first up, we've got the Bird Boy. And this dude has a friggin' Articuno <laughs> in the Pokeball round. He's got an Articuno. As you'd expect, uh, with the Bird Boy, all six are going to be um, flying type. So what we can do is we can open up with Voltorb um, in case Articuno comes out. We'll support that with Cloyster. And I think we can round the team off. Let's round it off with Ghastly. All right, here we go. This is it, the semifinals. No one wants to lose having come this far. Ah, Pidgey. So Bird Boy's gonna open up with Pidgey. So we're gonna go for Thunderbolt right away. I could have gone for Reflect to get a defense buff. I don't think that'll be necessary for this match. Ooh! We are able to paralyze it, so we get to move first. We can go for takedown, but takedown can miss, so let's not get too cute. Oh yeah, it's got quick attack. Ooh! Yeah, I forgot about quick attack. So Quick Attack has priority, if you guys are wondering why Pidgey was still able to move first, as we get the super effective critical right there. Quick Attack has priority, so you can still move first, even if you're paralyzed. So that's pretty much why that happened right there. Voltorb's gonna send an Articuno. Okay. Um... I think the best move here is to go for Thunder Wave to slow it down. That way I can at least set it up for Cloyster. Because I think Cloyster is going to be slower than Articuno. Okay, it's going to go for Blizzard. That'll get rid of Voltorb. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have been keeping track, but we just had our first fainted Pokemon of this entire cup so far. This is our first one, so we're not going to get a continue out of this. Like we did all the previous matches, but that's okay. Um, so we can go for either Clamp, Ice Beam, or Bubble Beam. We could do whatever we want at this point. Cloyster's not good with special though, that's the only concerning thing. It's gonna go go for Bubble Beam to try to slow me down. And Cloyster's high defense, so it'll resist any physical moves it's got. I'm gonna go for Clamp to try to lock it down in place. Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty much stun locked at this point. Alright, I can't remember how long Clamp lasts. Okay, so pretty much after two turns. Beautiful, we're chipping away. We're chipping away at that HP. Okay, good. We still don't get our speed lowered. So that's even better. We could go for our own bubble beam to do normal damage. But you get more power out of Ice Beam. Even if we do get our speed lower, which we do right there, um, we're still going to be faster because Articuno's paralyzed. So, case in point, we still get to move first. And we will... Is this the second Pokemon? Yeah. I almost got ahead of myself right there. We still have one more to beat. 
which is going to be Spiro. Once you get rid of Articuno, the others should be a piece of cake. So let's just go for Ice Beam straight up. Spiro's going to be quicker. It's got double edge. But Cloister's probably second highest defense in Gen 1 behind Onyx at this point. So it's not going to do a whole lot. That'll be a one-shot. And with that, we'll officially advance to the final round. Just got one more to go in Prime Cut Pokeball. And like I said, because we had a fainted Pokemon, that's why we're still at six continues, for those of you who are new. As we advance to the final round against the Cool Trainer. Male Cool Trainer. Okay. Ooh, I love the color of that coughing in the still in the still image right there. And he's got a ditto, so we gotta be careful. Um Let's see, any common weaknesses we got. Okay, so half of this team is going to be weak to Sand Slash, so I'm going to open with that. A couple of these can explode on us, so I'm going to have Ghastly as support for that. And I think... Um, let's have Primeape. We haven't used Primeape. Um... In fact, I want to see what Primate can do in case Ditto comes out. So we'll have Primate, Sand Slash, and Hypno. Yeah, let's go for it. This is it, the final battle. Who will bask in the glory of the championship? Okay. Um, we're gonna switch to Sand Slash. I was hoping Ditto would start. That way I could just locate the crap out of it. But that's not gonna happen. At least not right now. Oh, Reflect, that's smart. That's smart. Okay. Um, so I'll tell you what, how about we go underground? It's gonna go for Swift. Ooh! Even with a crit, it only did 50 damage to us. Voltorb is not a physical attacker. However, the one thing that you need to know about Swift is that in Gen 1, it can hit us even when we're underground. Same goes with Fly as well. Yeah, that Reflect is keeping him alive. Okay. Um, let's go for another dig. They strike fighting poses. What's this? There, it's a hit. The bad news about dig is that we're essentially taking two free it's shots from Swift every Not turn. Because dig takes two turns to attack. However... What will it do? Ooh, another crit. We're still gonna beat Voltorb. Easy. Yeah, Sand Slash has pretty high defense. And Voltorb doesn't have a lot of offense, like I said. He's gonna put in Seal. I do wanna say Sand Slash for coughing if it's got it, if he's got that, or Volpix if he's got that. Um. Yeah, let's put in Primate. I can't remember if Seal is water and ice, or if it's just water. I know Dugong is water and ice. I'm not so sure about Seal. I think Seal is pure water. It's gonna go for Surf. Ooh! Okay, we can take two more rounds of Surf. Just based on that damage range. So, let's go for Low Kick. We're gonna be faster, so we can try to flinch it. Ooh! That's a nice crit right there. 
Okay, it's gonna go for Sir. Ooh. Okay, we're down to six HP. Alright, let's go for another low kick. What'll it do? Oh, it missed. Yeah, that's a disappointment. Can you guys see now why Primate barely got any screen time in this cup? Because I can. Um, granted, it did have one less turn, but still. We needed that low kick to land, and it didn't. So now I got to put in Hypno and use Psychic. Oh! My hope is that he goes for Surf. Yes, he does go for Surf. I don't want Ice Beam because of the chance of us getting frozen. And Surf is not even going to leave. As much of a scratch on us. Let's go for Headbutt to knock it out. I don't know Seal's stats too well. But it doesn't matter, since we do get the KO with Headbutt. All right, let's await that last one. It could be anybody. I think we pretty much got this. He's gonna use coughing. He's gonna close the cup with coughing. Awesome. I love that color. That's why I was hoping to see the blue Bulbasaur um, that the other trainer had, but we never saw it. But we do get to see like the magenta-esque I don't know what you call that color. Vi uh, um, coughing. We do get the knockout. A grape colored coughing. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. We do get the victory and the Prime Cup Pokeball. Man, strong finish. We didn't lose one single match throughout that whole cup. Beautiful. All right, guys. So hopefully you all enjoyed that episode, the finish of the Prime Cut Pokeball. Next time, I love that sky right there. Next time we're going to start Prime Cut Great Ball. In our next episode, we're going to start the first three battles of that next time. So be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. For that episode and more episodes after that to come. Um, you can also follow me on Facebook at Zori Gaming where I do my live streams. I have an archive of some streams of God of War on PS4 if you guys want to check those out. And with that being said guys, this is your host Zori signing off. You guys take care. Have a great day. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.